Happy Friday to you. It is February 17th, and these are the Friday Funnies. Well, welcome to the end of another week and the start of a new holiday season. The season kicked off on Tuesday when we celebrated Valentine's Day, which for guys is like walking across a giant minefield. You hope everything goes okay, but one misstep and kablooey! The whole night goes up in smoke. The next holiday on the agenda is President's Day on Monday. Now, we used to celebrate two presidents' birthdays in February. February 12th for Abraham Lincoln and uh, George Washington on February 22nd. Now, we celebrate all of the presidents' birthdays at one time by putting mattresses on sale. This year, President's Day happens to fall on February 20th, which is not the birthday of any U.S. president, but it is the birthday of Patty Hearst, Kurt Cobain, and Charles Barkley none of whom, thankfully, has ever been a president. That brings us to Tuesday. Tuesday is known as Fat Tuesday, Shrove Tuesday, and Mardi Gras Day. It's the day before Ash Wednesday, and it's dedicated to overindulgence. Although it's a Christian holy day, people from all walks of life use it as an excuse to overdrink, overeat, and overact. Two words for a good Mardi Gras party? Bring beads. Trust me on that. Ash Wednesday is next in the string of holidays, and it's a day for repentance of the things that you did on Fat Tuesday. And finally, we look ahead to February 29th, a once every four year event known as Leap Year Day or Sadie Hawkins Day. Now, the latter refers to the tradition of ladies using this day to ask gentlemen out on dates like guys would object to that the other 365 days. So anyhow, to kick off this holiday season, let's take a look at some of the very weird stories in this week's news. The Las Vegas location of a restaurant named the Heart Attack Grill specializes in a 6,000 calorie triple bypass burger and flatline fries cooked in pure lard. The chain uses the advertising slogan, Taste Worth Dying For. And this week, a diner at the restaurant was halfway through his triple bypass burger when he got a gripper. Yeah, the man went into cardiac arrest and paramedics were called to take him to the hospital. Fortunately, he did not die, and the restaurant said that they would not charge him for his meal. And when he was feeling better, they were going to give him a lifetime supply of their burgers. This seems like a pretty good deal until you think a lifetime supply of triple bypass burgers? That's probably about a week or two. Well, he's not really the restaurant's spokesman, but he would make a good one. His name is Keith Martin, and he's a 14-year-old Londoner who tips the scales at eight, 812 pounds. And at that weight, he doesn't exactly tip the scales as much as he breaks them. But Keith is on track to become the world's fattest man. He's going for the record, so his uh, his treble, I'm sorry, his training table uh, diet includes eight hot dogs for breakfast, sixteen sausages and chips for dinner, and a crate of candy cakes and biscuits for lunch. He's trying to take the title from Manuel Uribe, who lives in Mexico and currently weighs nine hundred and seventeen pounds. Now, these two guys, even though they live on opposite sides of the world, must have a lot in common. And I think, you know, maybe they should just call each other to uh, chew the fat. <laughs> San Diego police were looking for a burglary suspect when they spotted his car on the side of the road along Interstate 8. The officers called the California Highway Patrol for backup and soon the interstate was shut down while officers took positions around the vehicle with their guns drawn. Now after two hours of receiving no response to their request to come out with your hands up, little special effects there, anyhow they charged the vehicle, broke the driver's side windows, opened the doors and then discovered the reason that the driver did not respond to them. It wasn't there. 
The officers had held a vacant car at bay while TV news helicopters circled overhead only to discover that the guy they were looking for was nowhere in sight. They arrested the car and took it into custody, but they're still looking for the driver whom they said might be on foot. A keen sense of the obvious to serve and protect. Hey, that's it for this week's funnies. Please pass them along to others so that everybody can get a good laugh. Because I'm paying